bunker shots are different to chip shots. When I chip, I use my left hand more. For bunkers, I use my right hand to slap the sand with the sole of the club. After impact, the right hand cups as if to catch raindrops from above. It's a very wristy motion, unlike chipping where we try to have quiet wrists. The shaft leans backwards with the bunker shots and not forward like chip shots. This is vital because if you have a forward shaft lean, your body will hit down on the ball and your club will dig into the sand. Dig your feet into the sand so you don't slip and to feel the amount of sand in the bunker. We want the club to bounce off the sand and let the sand take the ball out. We will want an open club face. We want an open stance aimed a few yards left of the pin. You can feel the right hand taking control. Swing the club back and hinge your wrists with your right hand. Sweep toward the ball and hit the sand one inch behind the ball, slapping the sole of the club against the sand. Very important, we don't ever make contact with the ball from greenside bunkers. We enter with the sole of the club slapping the sand and going under the ball. Lifting it out of the bunker on a magic carpet. Once you understand this, you understand bunkers. Notice how my club head is ahead of the ball initially. The club head must accelerate through the sand. Notice also how my right hand is above my left on the follow through. For shots lying nicely in the bunker like this, you must follow through and complete the swing. Once you master sweeping and bouncing the club off the sand, your main swing thought should always be complete the swing. Too often, golfers just hack in and leave the club in the sand and the ball in the bunker. Questions. Which club do I use? For general play, I use a 58 degree or 60 degree but if you're having trouble with the bunkers, start with a 56 degree sand wedge with a generous amount of bounce. I taught Brian this technique. He was using the chipping technique, duffing and sculling bunker shots. It only took 5 minutes and he was getting out of the bunker 4 out of 5 times. He even got up and down from a bunker on 18 to halve our game against two other guys. Oh, what a man! This technique takes practice. So get down to the practice bunker and set up where you won't kill anyone. You will hit a few thin while learning, so don't have anyone on your target line in the distance. If you do hit someone, immediately move to the next ball and make it look like it wasn't you. Even if you're the only one there, deny, deny, deny. Otherwise, run. What a player! What a player! Oh, Holy spin. shit! That was a lot of spin. Right? I hit plug lies with a totally closed hooded face. The club face is aimed between my legs. I swing almost as hard as I can and enter the sand one to two inches behind the ball and let the club die into the sand. 
I hack very steeply down onto the ball and don't sweep under it like a normal bunker shot. There is usually a lot of topspin, so I aim to a part of the green where you won't run into another bunker. Question. Why do you close the face so much? That's crazy, lol. Answer. I wish I knew, but an old man showed me this when I was 12, and I've been using it ever since. Try it. It's one of the best pieces of advice I've ever been given. I address the ball exactly like a normal chip with slight forward shaft lean. I open my stance only slightly and aim the club face dead square to the target like a chip. The big difference between this and a chip is my backswing is steep and long with hard wrist hinge and my downswing is very steep hitting down onto the ball. I enter the sand one inch behind the ball but I force all the power downward into the sand, so the club actually gets stuck in the sand with no real follow through. The ball pops out on a massive pillow of sand and rolls forward with slightly less forward spin than a plugged lie. Uphill bunker shots are fantastic because the slope increases the loft of the club so you can swing harder. The setup is the same as the standard bunker shot, except I tilt my shoulders to match the slope and swing up the slope. I don't push all my weight forward. Instead, I try to remain balanced while keeping my shoulders parallel to the slope I am on. On a downslope, I do the opposite. I take more loft and tilt my shoulders to almost the same as the slope but still swing with the slope and abbreviate my follow through. In fairway bunkers, I dig my feet in to prevent slipping. I don't grip down on the club like in the greenside bunker shots. Just before the backswing, I lift my chin a tiny bit to bring the bottom of my swing up a fraction. I swing like a normal shot. The best practice I ever did for fairway bunkers was to hit balls on the beach with my 7-iron. Get in! Yes. Hey. Come on.